In the first videos, part of this series, we downloaded and installed our Volumes Manager. In this video, we'll perform the initial configuration of the App Volumes Manager, which includes setting up Active Directory, Group Administrative Access, Storage Access, and validating host credentials. The following prerequisites must be satisfied before you continue with this exercise. If you have purchased a license, download the product license file from the Customer Connect page to a location that is accessible to the App Volumes Manager virtual machine. For this exercise, you can use the evaluation license included with the App Volumes installer. In the Active Directory domain, create a service account that has read access to the Active Directory domain. Administrator privileges are not required and you can set the password so that it never expires. In vCenter server, create a service account with administrator privileges. This account will be used for integration between vSphere and app volumes. Create an Active Directory security group that will be your app volumes administrators group. This group will have access to the app volumes manager. For this evaluation, I've set up a lab and used my user account for the service accounts. Also, I have made sure that my user account is in the security group for app volumes admins. My account has local administrator privileges so that I can install the various app volumes components and so that I can package applications. For more information on these prerequisites, see the user accounts and credentials topic part of the App Volumes 4 installation guide. And finally, figure out which vSphere data stores you want to use for storing packaged applications and user writable volumes. To begin with our initial configuration of the App Volumes Manager, let's go to a web browser and connect to the App Volumes Manager server virtual machine by entering the fully qualified domain name of that server. Because I'm accessing the console for the first time, the welcome page appears. Select Get Started. On the License Information page, if you want to change the license you're using, click Edit and browse to the license file. Otherwise, select Next. On the Active Directory Domains tab, we'll provide the following information. The fully qualified Active Directory domain name the credentials for the user account you've created with read access to the Active Directory domain. From the security drop-down list, select LDAP over TLS. And for the purposes of this exercise, select the checkbox Disable Certificate Validation. Then click Register and verify that the domain you just registered appears in the list and click Next. On the Admin Roles tab, use the Search Groups field to find the Active Directory group used to administer app volumes. I'm going to select the Domain Admins group from the Choose Group list, partly because I know that my account is member of this group. Then click Assign and Next. On the Machine Managers tab, to configure the app volumes operation mode, enter the following. The type of the hypervisor connection. For this demonstration, I'll keep the default where the vCenter server will be configured as the machine manager. But if you're using physical computers or unsupported third-party hypervisor, you could select VHD in guest. The host name of the machine manager, which in our case is the FQDN of the vCenter server instance. The credentials for the vCenter server service account that has administrative privileges within vCenter server. And for the rest of the fields, let's leave the default. For more information about these settings, see the topic Configure and Register the Machine Manager, part of the App Volumes Administration Guide. Click Save and accept the untrusted certificate warning. Verify that the vCenter server we just specified appears in the list and click Next. On the Storage tab, select the default storage location and specify, if needed, the default storage and template paths to use for your application packages and writable volumes. Click Next and set the defaults in the confirmation box. On the Upload Templates page, 
For a host, keep vCenter. Select all the files in the list. Click Upload and confirm it. The templates are uploaded to the storage location you specified. On the Settings tab, we'll keep the default settings and click Save. The App Volumes Manager is now configured and we can start packaging some applications. For more App Volumes and Horizon technical resources, be sure to visit techzone.com.